the global CEO of NTT, uh, Abhijat Dubey, joins us now. He will assume his new role as the CEO of the merged NTT data and its business outside Japan later in June. Abhijit, great to see you and a very good morning to you. Let's start with what NTT will look like in the AI era and how are you positioning the business? Well, first of all, thanks for having me here. It's a privilege to represent uh, NTT and NTT data. As you mentioned, we are a $30 billion IT services powerhouse, one of the top five in the world. In fact, not very well known. As it relates to AI, I think uh, it is one of the biggest technology advancements since the internet. We truly believe that. We have embraced it as NTT. So what that means is we have to reinvent everything we do internally in terms of how we work. And we also have to reimagine everything in terms of products and services that we provide to our clients. And with that, our belief is that we have to do it responsibly. We have to make sure that we democratize AI and we give customers choice. So the big areas for investment for us, we already are the world's third largest data center provider and we power the cloud today. We want to power the AI infrastructure of the future. We are investing in cutting edge research on all photonics, network and computing, because one of the biggest challenges in AI is the power consumption. And that will revolutionize uh, the internet as well as AI infrastructure. And then of course, we are um, investing in our own large language models, which are significantly less uh, power consumption hungry and very lightweight, but almost similar performance to the big ones that we know about. And we believe in choice, so we will support all sorts of large language models, all sorts of infrastructure, so that customers have a choice. So let me ask you a sort of a thematic question, right? Uh, you're about a 30, 38 billion dollar company right now. 18 percent, excuse me, 18 billion of that is outside Japan, right? Which leaves a big chunk still in Japan. Uh, we've been talking about Japan's demographic challenges, and one of the big problems is productivity is not where they need it to be or want it to be. What you do, uh, and with AI, could that be at least part of the answer for Japanese corporates to improve that productivity? Absolutely. Yeah. There is no doubt about that. Because one of the biggest advantages and opportunities of AI is that there are certain categories of work where we do not have enough capacity. It's true in the emerging world. It's true in countries like Japan, whether it's in the medical profession or other professions. And AI has the potential to replace and provide that incremental capacity in the market. 